Welcome to Columbus, Ohio. We're in Goodale Park and this city, the scene for tonight's matchup is Toronto FC and the Columbus crew first leg of the Eastern Conference Championship. Gareth Wheeler with you. The wait is finally over. It's been 16 long days since Toronto FC advanced by getting past the New York Red Bulls. As you can see, the weather picture perfect for this time of year about eight nine degrees celsius although there are some showers in the forecast it's going to cool off considerably so it's going to be a damp wet one tonight at maffrey stadium the city's buzzing with toronto fc supporters over a thousand making the trip down from ontario they're going to really create a proper atmosphere for tonight's massive matchup all the banter all the talk it's all being said over the last two weeks we got one more thing left to do it's our three keys to the match. The first key to the match, priority on possession. It's the one area of Toronto FC's game where they can approve upon the Eastern Conference semifinal and make their lives a little bit easier. They only kept the ball 36% of the time at Red Bull Arena in the first leg last time around, and their pass completion percentage hovered around 68%. It wasn't much better in the second leg, with Toronto FC keeping the ball 42% of the time and just 69% pass completion rate. Look for the crew to pressure high pressure with regularity against TFC, much like the Red Bulls did, because you got to remember the crew, they're going to be under pressure to get something out of this match, knowing they have to go to BMO Field for the second leg. The crew have not lost at home since July 1st, so it's a place they're comfortable. Now, who's going to hold up the ball? That's going to be a massive question. It's going to have to be players like Victor Vasquez. Marky Delgado is going to have to do much better, and Michael Bradley's going to have to set the tempo with no Altador and Javinko in the team. And the fullbacks, if Toronto FC play with the three center backs, whether it's Moro, Betashore, or Hasler, they got to get high and get involved in the attack. The second key to the match, disruptive defending. Toronto FC were resilient in the second leg against the New York Red Bulls, and their strong defensive play and shape has been a calling card of the team all season long. They had the third best defensive record in all of Major League Soccer over the course of the season, and the best goal differential away from home. That will be go a long way to be a recipe for success here in Columbus. Head coach Greg Vanny says he wants the team to come home with a clean sheet. And that would really put Toronto FC in good stead coming home for the second leg. It's really been the away goals that have given Toronto FC that leg up and their three previous away matches over the last two years in playoff action. So holding a team and coming away with a clean sheet, that would work as well. And in order to do so, they got to look out for Federico Higuain. He's the playmaker in the team, uh, playing more of a freelance role in the middle of the park. He loves to play down the right-hand side, and that's where Columbus really attacks from. Attack down the right, score down the left-hand side. Down the left is Justin Miram and Ola Kamara, the two players up top really for this Columbus team. They scored 31 goals combined on the season, but it's the creative influence that Higuain Higuain that pulls the strings. He has six goals and six assists in 14 career games against Toronto FC. Limit Higuain, then you limit the crew. And finally, the third key to the match, Ricketts on the run. With no Altidore, no Javinko, Tossane Ricketts takes center stage. The Canadian international, one of the fastest players in Major League Soccer, and he can cause fits across the Columbus crew back line. In fact, already on the season, Ricketts has scored two goals, and he's been taken down for a penalty, creating another goal-scoring opportunity against Columbus on the season. And in games that Javinko and Altidore have not been available, Ricketts, in those four matches has scored four goals. He is a prime matchup, a mouth-watering matchup against former Toronto FC defender Josh Williams and Jonathan Mensa. The center back pairing for me are vulnerable, particularly in behind them. So if Toronto FC plays a little bit more direct, try to play Ricketts in over the top, they can find plenty of joy. And Ricketts told me this week he has good feelings playing against the Columbus crew and in this stadium. So here we go, we're ready for this, the Eastern Conference Championship. The last tie against New York Red Bulls, it was crazy. Last year at this time against the Montreal Impact, just bananas, topsy-turvy all over the place. So expect the unexpected. The first leg goes tonight from right here in Columbus, 8 p.m. kickoff, you can watch on TSN, listen on TSN 1050.